Okay, we've got the three terraces, terraced gardens, all vegetables, a little bit of herbs in the last garden closest to the door, just for ease of access. But this first one, it's growing lettuces. It's these still very small ones. Again, the bib lettuce and the Grand Rapids lettuce, two rows, one of each. And around the perimeter, I've got black beans growing. But in the center is all corn. Ornamental corn or colorful corn it grows in yellow, purples, blues. All well, the kernels have many different colors to them. So this is a bed of all corn with a perimeter of black bean, front row of lettuce, and this back row has cucumber. So we've got about 10 cucumber plants. I'll put up a trellis in the next couple of days so it can start growing up the trellis. That's the first of the terraced beds. I put in a path of stones just yesterday and put a path or a layer of stone across the back to hold the dirt in. The second bed is quite a mix of black beans uh, and we've got here summer squash, sorry that's winter squash Again, winter squash. Four different varieties of winter squash in there. There's another one, and another. And in the back is summer squash or zucchini. In the front here, I'm trying to grow stevia, a natural sweetener, but it's not germinating outdoors. I may have to try another technique. And along the back, here is cucumber. Uh, one row of cucumber. Along the back, again, I'll make a trellis for that. Garden two, finally, garden one has a row of the, uh, sorry, peas, snow peas to start with, and then a row of, or half a row, turnip, and then after the turnip is radicchio. To the right of that is a whole row of peanuts, and in here is parsnip, it has not started coming up yet. But starting out, the very first row is onions. And believe it or not, there are onions coming up in this bed. They may look small just now. They look like little grass sproutlings, really. And there's lots of onions coming up in this first row. So evidence of all the things planted in here. There's even um, Swiss chard in the opposite side of the bed. There's a whole row of little Swiss chards growing here, they're very small still. Everything is popped up and growing with the exception of the parsnip, which takes is known to take a very long time to germinate. Could be weeks. And I put one of each type of herb plant I'm growing just to see how it does in a more of a full day sun, six to eight hours of sun here. The rosemary seems to absolutely love it, as well as the oregano. The basil, I don't know, it, it hasn't died back or anything, but it's not been growing quickly, and I think it's perhaps gone through shock from transplanting. The tarragon, it's um, slow there to, um, to shoot back, but it's just starting today to look a little better. The achillea, miserable looking. Time growing slow as usual. Fennel really nearly died when I transplanted it and it started to come back, so that's positive. It develops a root system in that deep bed. And we'll probably have very good growth. And the coriander or cilantro is uh, just made a new leaf after it completely died out. And again, the rosemary loves it in all the sun. So that's the terrace gardens. Um, happy I made these gardens and I can't wait to make three more this fall. This is um, later afternoon so you can see the way the sun is modeled now after the most of the day is done. It's still hitting and about 15 minutes ago it was hitting all three of them but now just 15 minutes into late afternoon now I don't know what time it is I think let me see if I can see the clock in the kitchen. Well, let's find out what time it is, so we can record that. 
It is 4.50, so at around 4.30ish or so, we start to get shade on the terrace gardens uh, from the trees. The sun is up in there, and the neighbor's backyard trees start to cast a shade or shadow on my terrace garden. But as the sun filters through those trees, you get the sun again and shade again, it gets mottled. So this continuing on and off sun all the way out throughout the evening, uh, close to the house here at this new terraced area. So a lot of good sun.